adjust. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I think you might have worsened my posture, but I like it. Hi there, welcome to another Short Circuit unboxing. Today we're gonna be looking at the Secret Labs Titan Evo 2022 series regular size gaming chair. This thing's actually pretty sick. I am out of breath. I'm actually really excited to open this because I've personally never used a Secret Labs chair. I don't think I've ever even really sat in one before this video. So I'm stoked, let's just dive into it. When are we getting a LTT store knife? Yeah, let's go, cool. The 2022 series, zero compromises. Every Secret Lab chair is put through a series of rigorous tests and international certification so you know it's truly built to last. Five foot seven to six foot two. So full disclaimer, I'm only five foot six. So I'll be a little, little short for this chair, but that's okay. Uh, up to 220 pounds, we're all good there. I'm the same height as Linus. Really? So Linus yeah, yeah, he might be even a little bit shorter than me. It depends. Those socks and sandals, I don't know. You know, they do a five feet drop test. Wow, they should get Linus for that. Can we do that? Titan Evo 2022 series and bam, instructions right on the back. Look at that QR code, straight to an assembly video. Perfect, are we gonna follow this? Maybe we will. Having a friend to help can make the assembly process even easier. Well, joke's on them, I don't have any friends. <laughs> oh, secret lab access. That's pretty dope, what is it? Is it like, a, it's, imagine it's just like a plane ticket. Um, user manual, that's the access. We got secret lab access, guys. All of us, everybody watching, secret lab access. It's pretty cool. They actually tell you how to take care of the um, upholstery options. So they've got their kind of soft weave plus, they've got the Napa leather and the microfiber leatherette, which I don't know yet, but I think we have the leatherette. So this is the top of the armrest, which they have hot swappable armrests that you can get for this thing, which is really cool. We'll go more into that once it's actually built, because it's kind of a <laughs> disaster as I rip everything off. So. Pull handles to slide backrests out gently. What did they say for me to do? I'm just gonna go. You know what, this is short circuit. No, my chair. Hey, if they can drop it five feet, it's gonna be okay, all right? Drop the box five feet. Oh, right, so we got our answer. So this is the hybrid leatherette version of this gaming chair. Grab the magnetic head pillow, which is pretty cool. So the only thing is that I don't really use head cushions very often, but maybe this will change my mind. That is a wide seat for a wide boy. I don't need help, Jono. It said friends. The amount of things I forget about unboxing these different chairs is just hilarious. Okay, we're good. Big thing when you're building anything, guys, just keep, keep your work area clean. Just keep it nice and clean. Stay organized. Do not remove the strap until the backrest has been securely installed. I really want to remove it. Rules were meant to be broken. So let's put the casters on here first. All right. Turn the wheelbase right side up and insert the hydraulic piston. What are you doing, John? Don't call me a piston. This is fun. This is a good time. Okay, cool. So we are going to slide this. Slide right into my DMs, which are located here. Okay, I got one. Uh, can you tilt it up a bit more? Am I gonna break the chair? Always do the top screw first. So when you're installing this, do this one first, then this one. Don't start there because then you won't be able to get it to tilt properly. Viewers are like, I already knew that. Okay. I already skipped five minutes ahead. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Best thing about friends, you can just, you know, you just let them do it. Next up, remove the recline strap. Done. See, we already got ahead of the game. I love using the provided tools because usually they're really bad. This tool is not bad at all, honestly. It's like that magnet is high quality. Do not discard the recline safety tab and screw as they can be reinstalled for child safety. That's actually, thanks for looking out for me. Lift the chair and gently downward, nice and gently. What's this guy? Secret Lab Neo Hybrid Leatherette. Plush and supple. Yeah, so this is the way that it goes. Fantastic, so now we probably screw it in, I'm assuming. I pinched myself using this tool, but it's not the chair's fault. Actually, it's really helpful that they write tilt lock and height here, as well as on the diagram, so you can match it like exactly, instead of having to kind of guess, because you don't know and can't orient yourself properly. Insert. 
Nope, I don't need no friends. You got a friend in me. Okay. Final, the final piece. Pretty easy to put down, but when you actually try to pull it off, you definitely need a little bit of, little bit of force to do that. No wonder it says warning, strong magnet. Three, two, one. <laughs> now, as per chair tradition, the last thing to do is to sit in the chair after a word from our sponsor, Genshin Impact. Genshin Impact is a free to play open world action RPG available on PC, mobile, PlayStation 4 and 5 with co-op play up to four players. If you want the best visuals and performance with Genshin Impact, playing on the PC is the way to go. Update 2.0 includes the new map Inazuma that's associated with the electro element. Explore and discover new mysteries, quests and stories within this latest area. Cute, amazing creatures are available in Inazuma. Travelers will run into them while exploring the new area. Interact with them and find more surprises ahead. This update also includes a new character, Kamisato Ayaka, a five-star Krau sword user. New in-game events such as Thunder Sojourn and Theater Mechanicus Stage of Wonders allows the four-star character, Beidou, to join the fight with you. New forging weapons and two new five-star weapons are obtainable through wishes, so use the link below and get Genshin Impact on your devices today. Go do it. So now we're gonna try out the four-way L-Adapt lumbar system, which is really cool. So there's a bunch of hinges inside of the chair that will adapt based on the knobs to form to your back, to your exact curvature of your spine. So, so, so it's different for everybody. Yeah, actually, and hold on, I would usually lean a little bit, hold up. And my only thing is, is that I don't know. Okay, now I feel, what, what are you doing right there? Oh, okay, that is really working. So now I feel nothing. I feel nothing inside. Oh yeah, yep, yep. Perfect, so that is, whew, yeah, my back's supported. In all my excitement, I realized that I never talked about how the armrests actually adjust. So your armrests, they go forward, backward, they go curvy, they go side to side, they go up and down. I'm gonna curb mine in like a true gamer. <laughs> so that's some of the features of the chair. Now we're gonna get a few other people in here to actually game with this bad boy, and we'll get their thoughts, so. All right, first up, we got the new guy, Jake coming to test out the Secret Labs Evo whatever 2022. What are we, what is this thing called? Oh. Titan. Now I'm a real gamer. I want my arms to do the least amount of work possible. So I want them as high as they can go. So that way. <laughs> there you go. Oh, oh wow, up. look at that form. Can you tell I'm a console gamer? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what do you sit on at home? The floor. The floor? Yeah. Is this, this is comfier than the floor? Barely. No, yeah, definitely. Definitely, definitely. That's good stuff. Hey, check it out. Pu uh, pry that armrest off. How, How would you broken? like? Oh, yeah, what, what are you doing? That hurt. Come on. Well, don't hurt yourself. <laughs> Does it with such force. Yeah. So what do you think about being able to actually swap the armrest for different materials? I like that a lot. It was actually super convenient. What is your posture when you're gaming? Is, is Are you actually, you're sitting like that? No, I sit, I sit pretty straight up. Oh, wow, that's pretty good. Hey, do you want some uh, lumbar support, bud? I don't know which way to adjust. Ooh. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I think you might have worsened my posture, but I like it. What, well, what was it? Uh, it? So, yeah, you can adjust it yourself. So it's the two knobs uh, right behind your elbows. No, that is convenient. Yeah, that's the only gripe I have with this system specifically. But, uh, oh, we've got that. Oh, that's nasty. You like that? I do. Nice. Yeah, how much do you think this chair costs? So I've never looked at a gaming chair before. Okay. I would say, $500. Mmm. You're getting yourself a deal. Wow, not bad. Wow, there we go. Not bad, there you go. Yeah, this is really nice. Like, it looks nice and not too gamery. The stitching, it's real Italian leather, right? No. No. They had me fooled. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, Dennis Liao, MLG Gamer. What do you sit on at home? You have a, don't you have a massage chair? Didn't you break I it? No, I didn't bring it. I thought you broke it. No. Well, first I touched this, it's nice. You like that? This. Yo, take it off. Take it off. Take it off? Yeah, take it off. <laughs> no, you can. Oh, this is, Dennis, I, I like, I, we, we spent an hour with this chair. You can't. You just have to believe. It's magnetic. You can just pry it off. Oh. There you go. Nice. <laughs> Why do you need to take this off? Because you can swap it for different tops. You said this one was nice. Oh. This is actually aftermarket. This is not what really? came with the oh, chair. Really? So if you want something that's a little bit more cushy, something that's a little like bit more it. solid, yeah, it's good. I feel you can get like fingerprint root. Yeah, I can already see there's like uh, somebody's nice. sweat on it. That's kind of gross. Dennis, how tall are you? I'm 
taller than you. Oh yeah, you're definitely taller than me. So actually, you would be close to the demographic for this chair. Really? You'd be close to, to what they suggest for, for this sure chair. For sure people? For sh I'm, people? You're calling me short. Shorter. You're taller than me. Wow, I take that as an offense. <laughs> Unbelievable. Like the back's a little bit hard. It is, no. yeah, it is firm. Oh yeah, here, we Very can adjust firm. that. That could be the lumbar support. I think I borked it before. I don't know which way goes what. I don't like you go behind me. That's okay, no problem. <laughs> I don't know if that's any better. But you can adjust the lumbar support, so. Good leather, right? Wow, two for two for two here. It's, did you just smell it? Yes, leather. <laughs> It's, it's fake leather, but the fact that it fooled you, I mean, it's doing I its job, so. It, like, it kind of goes this way, right? It's not flat, or it's like... It yeah, tilt adjust is, oh, I believe, here, and then you can kind of... Uh, and then you got to rock it, and you should be able to... <laughs> Actually, there you go! Oh, okay. Got it! And I like this one, like, this way more. Probably need to oh. sit somewhat well. Pretty nice, actually, like, very nice. How much did you pay for it, Dennis? 888. 800 88. It's $250. Oh, what? <laughs> really? What? <laughs> no way. You say it's premium. It must be a premium price. Yeah, but I mean it feels premium. That's the whole that's the whole value proposition here with this company, dude. What? Okay, R&D. good deal. All right. Well, I mean so honestly, that kind of wraps it up. This thing is high quality, like it feels really premium. It's hard to convey in a video, but if you're in the market for a gaming chair, I would Highly recommend at least doing your own research and checking one of these things out. At least go to a store and sit in one if you can. I don't know if they even do that, but yeah, it's it, this is a good chair. You can get all the details, the link below, as with anything else that we do on Short Circuit. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure to like the video if you liked it. Leave a comment. Check out some of our other chair unboxings, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.